Lots of people, probably including you, have already tried or want to try Shopify dropshipping and you may not have the money to or you just haven't had the time to since you're new to it or something. So I'm going to be sharing my journey with you guys and showing you how it went for me. Uh, I've been doing it for around six months now and it's been pretty good. It's been interesting. I've learned a lot. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So let me introduce myself first. My name is Marco uh, with a K and I'm from Serbia. I'm 19 years old and I've been dropshipping since June of 2020. Uh, I've been into it for around two and a half years or so. I just didn't have, I, I couldn't start doing it because I didn't have payment processing in place and stuff. And I was a bit lazy to be honest. So I'll, I'll just share what I what happened for me, uh, what I learned and, you know, hopefully do something or tell you something that's gonna help you uh, get started quicker and see better results quicker than me. So without further ado, let's jump into my computer and let me show you my results. Okay, so it all started in June of 2020. I've been using a general store for those of you who are wondering so uh, all the results you'll see are from a general store and that's the only store that i've been running basically if someone's wondering if you should go general or niche or broad or uh, or one product not broad just go with a general store it works it's the easiest one for beginners to use because you don't have to build the entire store uh, every time but yeah basically this store i started in june actually in may but i got my first sale in june june the third was when i got my first sale i was advertising this product uh it's a pill reminder basically so if you're an older person you know you gotta take some pills or if you're sick with something so just basically reminds you when you need to take them and these are the results for the third uh one sale we got a person that ordered two pieces but i wasn't profitable on this day i'll show you the ads real quick so these are my facebook ads for june the 3rd of 2020 and basically you guys can see exactly uh the cpm was in incredibly low i'm not sure why this was i think i targeted just the top four in some european countries that are rich so we had oh we had five at the carts that's pretty good i didn't actually know i haven't checked this in a while so we got one sale for 990 and i i just turned off the entire campaign i think i had no clue what i was doing with ads so it was at a five row as in the ad set 0.8 I'm not sure what I was doing, guys. So, so let's move on to the next product. Uh, so fast forward till the 18th, no sales. I wasn't testing anything. Actually, I tested uh, this product. So it's like a foot grinder. You've probably seen it if you're into drop shipping. But yeah, didn't do well for me. I had no sales. So these are the ads for the product. I've spent $91. I'm not sure the exact dates that I ran it on, uh, but I know it was between the 4th and the 18th. And I got no sales, five initiated checkouts, and eight at the carts, which is very weird and strange I, I hope everything was all right with it all right there i'm kind of surprised myself i haven't taken a look into my ads basically for these products ever i just turned them off and i moved forward so it's pretty weird to see but yeah cpm is 10 it's all good so here comes the fun part so on june the 17th i launched the product and my ad account got disabled so i decided i'll just uh, launch it on a different ad account and the other one got disabled as well and all i did was i requested a review of both of them and they both got unbanned which is weird um i don't know what facebook is doing but basically on the 19th they both started running and this is what happened so we got 144 dollars and 85 cents in sales with four orders now the total ad spend for that was 137 dollars so I was definitely negative on this day, but it definitely proved me that you can make money with drop shipping. And I was so happy that I had something running. It wasn't profitable, but you know, it was pretty good. And the feeling you get from getting sales on Shopify is one of the best feelings you'll ever feel. Other than maybe. So I'm in my ad account. Uh, I've hidden my interest so you guys don't see what the product was. It is a seasonal product, so I'll probably be running it once the season comes again. But basically, on one ad account, we had $80 spent to make back $89. And then on the other ad account, uh, we spent $56.59 to make back $149. Oh, what the... Okay, so I just realized that it doesn't make sense. For some reason, we have more in sales from this ad account than we have in my store. And then we have the other ad account as well. I'm not sure what's going on there but it is the same date so someone probably fake fired my pixel <coughs> oh 
but let's move on to the next day now for the video's sake to make it more fun i'm not going to be going into every single day's ad spend but i am going to be showing you guys the profit here in the sheet comment down below if you need some proof but now june the 20th was a really good day because uh it was my prom actually i was in a nice suit you know put on some nice perfume and it was pretty cool like i was in a really good hotel and i had some sales coming in first winning product so yeah it was such a good feeling and it's it's just worth doing drop shipping for the feeling of it because it's really nice once you hit your first winner but yeah i wasn't profitable i was negative like three dollars so that's okay you know on the second day it's not bad at all on the 21st we had 314 dollars in sales and we finally were profitable 18 dollars in profit and then on the 22nd so the revenue was uh, 199 dollars and 70 cents we had a refund here i didn't count that into the revenue because uh, i just count those as negatives into the day that they ordered but basically minus eight dollars so it was okay and then the 23rd comes around six hundred and nine dollars and eighteen cents in sales and we made a hundred and seventy three dollars and sixty six cents profit guys i mean if that's not crazy i don't know what is like on the 19th you guys can be making negative forty dollars and then four or five days later you're making like two hundred dollars a day profit which is just insane i'm not sure how many business models you can do that with and that's why i think drop shipping is pretty good and you guys may want to look into it this is the ad account so 6.87 ROAS which is insane I've never gotten that again and we spent $72 to make back almost $500 and as you guys can see it's just crazy um, we have a lot more ad sets here because I turned off a lot of them and then this is my other ad account uh, 2.17 ROAS spent 80 to make 174 back and as you guys can see by the 30th of June we, we've done 5.5k in sales and we profited a thousand dollars in a week from scratch so from zero to a thousand dollars basically in a week and it's all profit so that's so good like that's basically full-time income i think in the in the us as well you guys can basically live off of this so easily in case you get lucky so it does take some luck i wasn't really able to replicate this yet so that's why i'm doing this channel because i want to show you guys me going from scratch you know i have some experience but i'm gonna i want to go from zero all the way to hopefully huge numbers and I want to show you guys everything transparently. So July comes and this is what happens. So basically, dude, if you say basically one more time, I'm going to $10,000 in a month in revenue so the profit for july was 1200 dollars, but this is with some other product tests so from the from this product i did make more i'm not sure exactly how much maybe like 1400 or so and i turned off my ad account uh, for july my other one so the main one i was using is the one that actually had lower ROAS in the beginning so for some reason the better one died out quicker and as you can see it says total spent 5000 and i made like almost 9000 uh and some sales do come in like uh later after you turn off your ads so i had some hundred dollar days without ad spend so that's pretty cool and uh some people buy upsells and stuff so it doesn't track everything properly but it was really good and july was a pretty good month uh i uh, it was kind of sad my cat died so i got really demotivated like he died on july the 6th and i felt pretty shit for like 10 days uh, i didn't really work at all so this was all on autopilot and yeah i mean it was pretty good still and as you can see we had some 200 dollars days as well uh this is after refunds and we hit our biggest day ever which was the 884 dollar day now this was right the day before my cat died so it's kind of sad that what my biggest day was like when my cat died or the day prior but 271 dollars in profit for a day is really good so you know if you keep that up you're basically making like 10k a month so yeah let's move on to august august was kind of a slow month so i turned off my main winner in july so august was way slower because i had to test products and i did uh, relaunch the main winner that i had and it does account for most of the revenue yeah i mean august was pretty boring and yeah as you guys can see september september was a bit better basically uh i bought a course on facebook ads because i had no clue what i was doing on the on my first try this was like my third try with the product i relaunched the same product again and yeah it was kind of going decent uh we had some pretty good revenue numbers but the profit was really low so september 28th 
like $727 in revenue and the ad spend was like $324 and the profit was 185. Okay, so it wasn't so bad. Like these days were pretty good. And yeah, I'm not sure about the profit for September. I'm not gonna be going into like every single month. Actually, I am. So I pulled up my other uh, profit loss sheet. In September, I was negative like $400 and I did include all my like courses I bought and everything else into my expenses. So I wasn't like this negative actually, but you know, it was all my expenses for the month. And then in October, we made $11,825 in revenue, uh, which is pretty insane. You know, it's again, it's like better than July. So it was a pretty good month. Uh, revenue was really high. Like we had some $800 days almost actually more than 800, but the profit was pretty small. So I profited like $264 on like $12,000 in revenue, which is horrible guys. Like at that point, you're better off like not running the product at all. So, and I also bought a mentorship for like a thousand dollars exactly. And I was left with like negative $700 for the month, which is horrible. And I just decided I turn off the product on the 18th October. And as you guys can see again, some sales were coming in with like no ad spend just because some people still end up seeing the ad. Maybe someone shared it or something and you can still get some sales after you turn off your ads. So don't be surprised if that happens to you and november comes around and this is when like the horrible stuff starts happening so 440 dollars in revenue but as you guys can see actually you guys can't see because i'm not going to show my product but the same product again like we had some free traffic uh, people coming from the ads themselves so that was pretty much half the revenue i tested like five ten products in november I'm not, I'm not sure i wasn't keeping track and literally none of them worked so that's horrible but then december comes and oh boy Bruh. Yeah, nothing happens in December as well. I keep testing, I keep losing money, and I don't make anything back, so it's horrible this is like totally not profit like november and december i lost almost two thousand dollars in total now we're in january january is still pretty bad i've only gotten like 264 dollars in sales and my ad spend is like 356 dollars on one ad account and then another like 20 dollars on a different ad account okay so what are my future plans my plans are to just keep testing products improve on everything of course see if i made any mistakes and yeah just uh, keep improving and everything and hopefully hit my first winner show you guys the process of scaling and everything just not show the product of course till it dies out or something uh, but maybe i'll show it who knows and yeah if that sounds interesting to you guys you know you can always uh subscribe and i don't know you can also leave a like if you want but i'm not stopping okay i'm not gonna stop until i'm very successful in drop shipping uh that's just what i want to do and it's what I devoted a lot of my time to. So I'm just going to keep doing it and you guys will get to see all of it. Now, is dropshipping for you and should you start doing it as well? It depends. It really depends. You know, there's a lot of work that goes into it. You really need to like learn a lot of stuff unless you do things the simple way, which you can do. Like you can do really simple dropshipping and still make it work. But I'd recommend you guys save up or have some income stream like, you know, making you a thousand dollars a month or less. Uh, you know, you can realistically start with like a thousand dollars, but it's going to be pretty tough. Like you're going to need some luck if you have like ten, twenty thousand dollars to start then go for it you know there's no way you're not going to succeed so it's just a money game if you have a lot of money you can make it work if you don't have money you can also do like free traffic drop shipping and stuff but at that point you may as well just get a job or do something else to make you enough money to, to get started if you guys are from the us or another rich country where you can just get a job and make a lot of money that's awesome if you guys are not then i don't know like you got to figure out a way to make money on the internet as i did it's far from easy but it's worth it just learn how to do something and you can always freelance or consult people or I don't know do something but make some money guys and on this channel I'm also gonna be doing any sort of weird challenges or anything you guys want to see so make sure you comment down below what you'd like to see and maybe we'll do it like whether it's a challenge or you guys want to want me to explain something or I don't know show you how to build a store or whatever it is just comment down below and any business model as well uh, I'll probably be doing more business models on the channel just you know for fun but dropshipping is gonna be the main one that I do but yeah we'll see where it goes and yeah I 
think you guys may want to get into dropshipping, but don't expect it to be any quick money. You know, you may have to learn for months or for years to make it work like I did. And I still didn't really make it work. You know, I don't have anything successful running at the moment. So, you know, that's the thing. It's not so reliable. Uh, you may want to look into something else. Don't get shiny object syndrome. It does definitely work. I have friends making lots and lots of money with it. And when I say lots and lots of money, I mean like tens of thousands of dollars a month, maybe even hundreds in profit. So yeah, I hope I'll join them soon. And I hope you guys are going to join them as well. Uh, hopefully join us because I'm going to be there. But and yeah, that will be it for this video. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you liked it. And that's it. See you in the next one.